Welcome to Evaluate New York. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the key features of this dashboard. Let's start with the homepage, which provides data and information on EVs on the road or chargers, and you can narrow in on a geography of choice. Note that if you select a specific geography from the map, the numbers at the top of the page will change accordingly. You can explore additional filters by opening the yellow filter bar on the right side of the page. Also on this page, you can see new EV registrations as they have changed over time, as well as the change in EV share of new registrations. The other pages on this dashboard will take a deeper dive into some of this data. On the vehicles page, you can explore vehicle adoption by vehicle class and body type, by geography, such as region or county, as well as by utility. On this page, you will also find information about EVs on the road by make and type, as well as the top EV makes and models across the state or within your selected region. Finally, you can see information about various metrics and vehicle characteristics, such as vehicle efficiency by make, and you can compare this for EVs only or ICE vehicles and also across different vehicle classes. The charging page shows you public charging locations by region or by connector type. As with the other pages, selecting a region will affect the numbers at the top of the page, as well as the graphs at the bottom where you can see top five networks by level two port count or by fast charger port count. The Drive Clean Rebate page gives you information about the rebate, including rebates by region, by make, or by the amount that has been dispersed. You can see rebate amount by make and model, or the amount that's been dispersed over time for a specific region, county, or zip code. For additional information about this rebate, go to data.newyork.gov. Finally, the analysis page allows you to do a side-by-side -side comparison of two different regions within New York State. By doing so, you'll be able to compare demographics, EVs on the road, and growth over the past three months, the top five EV makes on the road, and some high-level information about charging in those two regions. For additional information about this dashboard, I encourage you to read the definitions the methodology and data sources, and the frequently asked questions that are also included on this page.